What's up, YouTube? Drew Manchu here, just chilling in the nerd cave. Uh, picked up some books yesterday on New Comic Book Day Wednesday. Didn't get a chance to shoot my haul, so today I'm going to be showing you guys what I picked up. Giant stack this week, guys. My wallet is empty, my long boxes are full, and I feel like this was money well spent. Let's see what I got. Adventure Time, number 53. It's a fantastic book right here. Adventure Time Ice King number six. Also picked up a variant for Adventure Time Ice King number six. Astonishing Ant-Man number nine. The Amazing Spider-Man number 14. These Alex Ross covers are out of this world. Batman number one. I read this book as soon as I got out of the shop. I read it in the car before I pulled out of the parking lot. Very excited for this title. Uh, Tom King does a great job with the story here. Uh, Finch is great on the art. It's no Capullo Snyder yet, but we'll see where it goes. Uh, I am liking it so far. Civil War II, number two. Really nice issue here. Also picked up a variant cover, Captain America here, uh, by Jim Starenko. Fabulous artist. His signature right up there. The Dark Knight Returns, The Last Crusade. It's a Joker-centric story set in the Dark Knight universe. Very excited to crack this open. Deadpool number 14. I also picked up a variant cover. And I've been loving these variant covers with the uh, little comic strip starring the UPC code. This story goes cover to cover uh, throughout the Deadpool run. Uh, really nice uh, variant gimmick they got going on here. Scotty Young's I Hate Fairyland. Excited for the second story arc from Scotty Young. This guy's imagination is off the charts crazy. These books are out of this world. Can't recommend them enough. Also picked up the beautiful Fuck Fairyland variant. Green Arrow number one. I've never been a big Green Arrow fan, but I am really loving this story so far. Really like the Rebirth one shot, and uh, issue number one was fantastic. Guardians of Infinity. This is Dan Abnett coming back, doing great things with the Guardians. Patsy Walker Hellcat, number seven. This is uh, featuring Jessica Jones. All New Inhumans, number eight. Uncanny Inhumans, number ten. Loving what Charles Soule is doing with this book. International Iron Man, number four. Justice League, number 51. Uh, the Justice League teams up with the boy wonder, Robin. Uh, this is Dick Grayson. Uh, really, really nice read. I uh, really enjoyed this book. Low, number 14. Fantastic series, real frenetic, uh, hand-painted art by Greg Ticini. And uh, it's Rick Remender writing it, so you know it's got to be good. Lumberjanes, 27. Nova, number 8. Civil War II tie-in. Scooby Apocalypse, number two. Jim Lee is doing a lot of great things with these characters. Um, they are the characters you remember, just uh, with a little bit of a twist. And it is a really fun read. I've really been enjoying it so far. I did not think that I would, and I'm going to stick with it. Spider-Gwen, number nine. Spidey, number seven. Check out that cover, man. That's freaking beautiful. Black Panther and Spider-Man in the foreground. Look at the lighting on that. Squadron Supreme, number eight. Star Wars, 20. Great cover there, Obi-Wan, fucking Wookiee. Jason Aaron's writing this still. It's absolutely fantastic. If you are a Star Wars fan at all, pick up this book. Han Solo, number one. Haven't cracked this open yet. Plan on reading this tonight. Suicide Squad, 21. Superman, number one. Really love where uh, Tomasi's taking this book. Uh, I like Clark the Family Man. Uh, watching him interact with his son is is pretty good stuff. Really excited to see where this goes, uh, especially with the way it ended. Titans Rebirth number one. Vote Loki number one. Civil War two X Men number one. This was a fantastic book. If you're a fan of the X Men, I suggest you pick this up and get on board. The end left me wondering which direction the X Men are going to take during this conflict. Uh, really, really enjoyed this book. Last but not least, Uncanny X-Men number 8. Lots going on in this book. You get Psylocke, you get Phantom X, we get Morlocks. Some good stuff going on here. Uh, this ties directly into Apocalypse Wars. 
Uh, fantastic stuff. That's it for my haul this week, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I went a little nuts at the shop, overspent a little bit, a little over budget. I'm excited about that, though. I got some good stuff. If I missed anything at the shop that you think that I should have picked up, let me know in the comment section down below. I can add it on for next week. As always, I look forward to seeing your haul videos as well. You can share a link in the uh, comments or hit me up on Twitter. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. And if you hit that subscribe button, I'll be bringing you some more comic book related material very shortly.